Welcome to Car Talk. This is not talking about cars, this is talking inside of a car. Today's topic is about playing it through. Now that might mean different things to different folks. What that means to me is looking at the long-term cause and effect, the long-term impacts, positive and negative, of decisions you make and of actions others take. Because doing that allows you to best put yourself in a position to succeed and to think critically and to analyze things and wonder why is someone doing that? Why is someone not taking that action? Why is someone taking that action? It allows you to best capitalize and best take advantage of others' actions and inactions. Because oftentimes people have a motive, almost always have a motive for what it is they do. And sometimes they don't. Sometimes they do things not realizing the long-term cause and effect of what they're gonna do. And this comes to mind because uh, I took my kids to school today and they're four and two, two and four little kids. And today was bring, wear your favorite Christmas shirt to school day. Sounds obvious enough, uh, simple enough, but play it through, play it through. All right, so the two and four and they are not gonna be the same size they were last year. So any favorite Christmas shirt is gonna be a shirt for this year and it's not Christmas yet. And most people only wear a Christmas shirt once or twice a year, if that, as an adult. So what would their favorite Christmas shirt be? It's probably gonna be a shirt that mommy or daddy had to go buy to wear for today. My wife, had to, my wife, because she's much more of a rule follower than I am, I would say, why would you bother with that? Well, but she likes to, and she's a little more festive than I am. I guess that's that's fair. But she had to go out and buy shirts for this for today to wear as your favorite Christmas shirt. Because I guarantee you, no two-year-old and no four-year-old has a favorite Christmas shirt. They probably have a, they might have a Christmas shirt. They might have two, but I guarantee it's new this year. And they might only have worn it maybe once. Probably not yet because it's really not that Christmas crunch time yet. And that's how my mind works. Might sound weird to you guys because I analyze everything. I look at why would someone do something? What is a, what is the long-term effect of this? How does this actually play out when you play it through? When you play it through, what happens? How does it play out? And when you start to wrap your mind around things in certain ways, when you start playing it through, play it out, play it through, you're gonna realize so many things people want you to do don't make any sense. So many things people want you to do are there to take advantage of you. They're there to take advantage of you when you don't play things through. So you need to do that in everything in life, really. Don't take things at face value. Don't assume because something has always been done a certain way that that is the way it needs to be done in the future. Don't assume that just because someone says you should do something a certain way means that's the way it needs to be done. There are laws. There are things that keep people safe. I'm not saying go break laws, but I'm saying is don't have a huge regard for the rules just for the sake of the rules because the biggest, most successful people in history have had a blatant disregard for the rules. Entrepreneurs have a blatant disregard for the rules and how things have been done because they find holes, they find angles, they play things through and find better ways, different ways to do things outside of the lines, not inside of the lines. Every level I inch up on my journey as an entrepreneur, I get a lower, lower, lower regard for the rules, for the way things should be done, for the way, oh, it's always been that way. Oh, that's how we always do it. That's the way it should be done. I have less regard for that every single day. And interestingly enough, the less I care about rules, the more successful I become. The less I care about rules, the happier I become. The less I care about rules, the more happy my family becomes. Think about that for a second. The less I follow rules, the less I care about rules and just follow my gut and of what I think is right and wrong, everything changes. I become happier, I become more successful, I make more money, my wife becomes happier, my kids become happier, all because I am happier. So am I a rule follower? No, I don't really care about the rules. I care enough about laws because I don't wanna go to jail. I care enough about right and wrong. I always do the right thing. But here's the thing, the rules don't always go along with what the right thing is. 
the rules go along with what someone else tells you is the right thing, which they might not know exactly what's right and wrong, or much more likely, they have an angle to play out, probably money slash power slash control over what they think the rules should be. And rules are great, they have, a, they have a system, we tell our kids to get in line, follow the rules, do what you're told, and as you get to be an adult, that becomes something that hinders you. So don't always follow rules. Don't blindly follow rules. Some rules make sense, some make zero sense whatsoever. So think critically about things. Play things through. Don't realize that, realize that not everything is clear cut the way things should be done because there's different interpretations of the way things should be done. And when you start thinking about the angles, the ups, the downs, the long-term impacts of decisions you make and choices other people make, it allows you to best take advantage of situations. And that, my friends, is playing it through. Car Talk, Tyler Douthat.